welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Minnesota Twins taking on the Baltimore Orioles. John Shambi with you alongside Chris Singleton. And Chris, a guy that's been having a huge impact for this team all year, Colton Kowser. Yeah, Boog, he's one of the pillars of this lineup. And when you have a guy like that that's so consistent and so productive, you want to make sure you can do whatever you can to get him to the plate. Get him as many at-bats as you can in a ball game. If you do that, you've got a really good chance of scoring a lot of runs. Off Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. A one down. And a foul ball left side. Oh, and two now. And ball one. One ball, two strikes, it down. Battling here as he fouls it away. using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more and his timing will be back on track. Well, good pitch for the strikeout. Ryan Jeffers at the plate. Out in front and foul to the left side. One down, base is empty. And now the count is even. One ball, one strike. That one is absolutely belted. And in one hops the wall. Around first, heading for two. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you can tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. Here's Byron Buxton. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. Man at second. Oh, that's inside. And that one fouled off. One out and a runner at second, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. And a 2-1 hammered, but foul. The pitch. And now it's 3-2. and two. They try to get him to go. Chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. Kyle Farmer up next. Jeffers over at second, one down. Bounced up the middle. Henderson over to first in time. That takes care of Buxton. Now the lineup for the Twins as constructed by Rocco Baldelli. 
Someone who makes things happen for them, in part with his legs, Byron Buxton. And Boog, he's a dangerous power-speed combination guy. I mean, the kind of player who can have a major impact at any moment of the game. I mean, not a lot of guys have that kind of raw, natural ability, and I think that's what really makes him a dynamic player. I'm so looking forward to watching him in this one. Kyle Farmer in the box now. Take strike one. Two outs with a runner at third. Strike two. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Two outs. That misses. Now one and two. sleeve but that's okay as long as he's getting results and right there thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam back now at Oriole Park and on the hill in this one Louis Varlin what do you have on him Siggy try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying Leading back. Off. Now a chance for Gunnar Henderson. Not you know, yeah, this guy's yeah. great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Varlin goes six foot one. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a cutter, and he works in a changeup. Slice the other way and foul. That one missed. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. The line of the pitch. Three. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And one gone. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in on him, man. You know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact, but that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. Here's Adley Rutschman. On a line, base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, they're looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on the line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Runner on at first with one gone. Ryan O'Hearn, the next to hit for the Orioles. That clips the zone. That's strike one. Man at first, one away. Ground ball could be two. Santana to second, double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. End of one, and we're still scoreless. Started. Here's the third baseman, Jose Miranda. Oh, why to kick the pitch? Right through there for a strike. There it was. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. He gets a take, gets a head and a count. Pitch ball. misses there, and now it's even one and one. Ed Drummond behind the plate calling balls and strikes. 
maybe one of the most respected umpires around the league. He's not the kind of umpire that you're likely to notice back there. And that can be a huge compliment, really. So if you're just kind of quietly doing your job, staying consistent with your calls, hitters, pitchers, managers, even fans, nope. they're all going to appreciate you. Ed Drummond, he's that kind of umpire. The 2-1. There's a strike. Chris, the players ever change their approach in meaningful ways based on who's umpiring, or is it good to just be aware of tendencies so you're not that surprised? I'd say the latter, because the pitcher's got to pitch to her strengths regardless. The hitter's got to hit to his strengths. So you're aware of it, but you have to just hunt for what you can handle. And now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four umpires, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Broken bat, and it's popped up. Makes the grab, two down. Got it, got it. The Here's Christian Vasquez. Ball, and takes low for ball one. Inside just missed. The wind to kick the 2 0. That one drilled left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. Twins retired in short order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here in Baltimore, Leading off. bottom half of inning number two, here's Ryan Mountcastle. You know, it didn't take Mountcastle long to make a splash at the major league level. In 2023, he became the first rookie to lead the Orioles in home runs since Kurt Leffery in 1965. That clips the corner. And that one wrapped foul. Swinging. Slider got him for strike three. Away, away, away. And clearly that was the plan right there. He just wasn't no way, able to put it in play. And that should tell you something as a hitter. Sometimes you're a little too conscious of the inside pitch and you're not able to cover that outside part of the plate. So clearly some adjustments to be made next time. So up next, Colton Kowser. First yep, pitch and he out. just misses. Down, base is empty. Hey, a swing and a miss. Well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. That misses the zone. Two and one. One out, base is empty. That misses, and that's ball three. And he walked him. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. That is good. So digging in, for Jordan Westberg. It's interesting. He plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, oh, it makes the whole team that much better. Marlon checks over to first, and he's back.
The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. That's it for a strike. Throw. Save. Looks like the base runner had a pretty good feel on the pitcher's move. After that kick over, he seemed to settle in, and he took off right away. Nice job of stealing second right there. Farmer on the run sends it over to first. Two <laughs> And next for the Orioles, Cedric Mullins. Good power, not great in the OBP department. Ball one, no strikes. Now one and zero. Outside, ball one. Great right on that fastball. Trying to right. keep good speed off the bases. Ball to strike. And a foul ball. The one two. Line drive, base hit. A leadoff single, and the go ahead run is aboard. Batting out. The second base. Edward. Now, here is Edouard Julien, third baseman playing on the edge of the grass looking for the sack bunt. There's a strike. This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. And the pitch. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Off balance B, there's one. On the first save. So they get one, but a really nice try there. Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it, but he got it off, and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. Manuel Margot up to the plate. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Pitch is in for a strike. It's 0 and 1. Pickoff move to first, and he just got his hand in there. At the belt and fires. Check swing, appeal to first. No, he held up. And a pitch. And a count one and two. 
With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. One, two to Margot. Looked like it was a little bit up. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Missing low. Going to lay off that pitch down. Brian Jeffers next to bat for Minnesota. And there's a base hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. And the throws offline, safe at third. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Brian Jeffers, the next twin up to hit. Golden opportunity right here. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. With the go-ahead run at third, we're here in the top half of inning number three. Good eye in that ball. spot. But I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Next nope, offering upstairs. Ball. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. The 2-1. And another ball. Home plate umpires try to tighten things up a little bit. Byron Buxton in the on deck circle for the Twins. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. And they're all loaded up. Now that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. So bases loaded with one away. Here's the center fielder, Byron Buxton. Lifted in the air, right field. Kowser sizes this one up, drops into the glove. Runner tags from third. He scores. That's a big sacrifice fly, and it's one nothing. Oh, this is a big at bat right here. Nice sack fly to give his team the lead in these late innings. Kyle Farmer up to the plate now. Struck out swinging his first time. Just missed. Two on, two outs. And that one fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Fouled off. He was late. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Out to short, Henderson. They take the force out, that ends the inning, and they limit the damage. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Twins one and the Orioles nothing. Bottom of the inning, Leading and into the box for Baltimore, Austin Hayes. Austin Hayes. And that's a little bit high, and that's ball one. Right through there for a strike. And 
another ball. We got two balls, one strike. Next ball offering three. upstairs. Jackson Holiday. Next to bat for Baltimore. Looking to get the tying run on base. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. They can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. And a pitch. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and leadoff batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. No outs. Runner at first. Jackson nope. Holiday, okay. the next to hit for the Orioles. Left hand hitter waits. And there's a base hit to right field. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Everything came together for him. Just a solid swing right there. Got it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. So next to hit for Baltimore, Gunnar Henderson let off the game with a strikeout. In the air, right center. This is matched way back and gone. home run and that's how they take the lead it's 3-1 he only needed one swing to square it up not wasting any time in that at bat mood aggressive and it paid off when you have a team that hits home runs at such a high rate they can get back in the ball game so quickly that's why that leadoff walk was extremely costly Catcher up to hit, Adley Rutschman. In the air to left center. Martin has it sized up. Corrals it. And there's one down. Now that the designated hitter. Ryan, Ryan O'Hearn comes up to hit. Oh, over right. one so far. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Yeah, there's a ball. Already three runs across in the frame here in the last half of the third. And ball, that's off that's inside. the inside edge. Now 2-0. Ripped on a line. Margo calls it in, and there's two away. Now bad. First base. Here's the Oriole cleanup hitter, Ryan Mountcastle. Mountcastle. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. Just missed. Fought off foul. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. Two down, nobody on. That one ripped. And a base hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Right. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance, and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. And now the right fielder, Colton Kowser. He reached out a walk his first time. That's a strike. 0 and 1. Mountcastle off of first with two away. Up the middle. They get the force. 
inning over. <laughs> Orioles get three on this long ball. And this is now a three one ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back now at Oriole Park, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead Jose off the fourth, Jose Miranda. Miranda. The lefty fires. And there's a foul ball. Well, these twins showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. Liner, base hit. So, a runner aboard to start the inning. You often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Carlos Santana, the next twin up to hit. The switch hitter batting right. That just misses, and that's ball one. Tying run at the plate. And there's a hit. Mullins whips it back in. And it's now first and second to start the inning. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Making a move at second base. Entering is the pinch runner, Willie Castro. So here's Christian Vasquez. He's over one. Outside. With the go ahead run at the plate, top half of inning number four to the left side but it is well fouled. Got the back going too soon and strike two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good and then by the time it gets in the hitting zone hard to get the barrel to it. This one smacked out to left center. And this one could be extra bases. Around third. One runs in. Now the second run is in. Back even. It's 3-3. Three, three. Well, we're starting over. Two RBIs with that swing. And this one is tied. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Now that sets up a huge at bat in this ballgame. Next for Minnesota, Austin Martin. That one finds the corner. Strike one. Kicks and deals. There's a strike. He's falling behind in a huge spot, but we've got to do what it takes to come through. Maybe choke up on the bat a little bit, spread out those feet, whatever it takes. Hard on the ground to first. And he takes it himself for the out. That's a good piece of hitting right there. The job was to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score the go-ahead run. That's exactly what happened. So you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. And now for the Twins, Edouard Julien. All for one, he hit into a fielder's choice his first time. And fouled off. Run around at third, one gone. 
And that's down and away. And he deals. Wouldn't chase that time. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in. And he spits on that one. Fall off foul. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Well, that's a huge strikeout right there. Big second out. Infield was in. They were playing the full court press, and he got the swing and miss. Keeps this one tied. This next at bat should be a lot of fun. The odds of wiggling out of this just went up considerably. Here's Manuel Margot, one for two. First off, bring and it just misses. Now, one and off down the right side. Vasquez on third with two out. The other way. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And that's the third out. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. We're tied now with three apiece. You're dialed into the show. Now into the ball game on defense, Willie Castro. He's the new third baseman. Now the third baseman, Leading Jordan Westberg, grounded out to short his first trip. What a pitch. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. It's a leadoff double. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets in the scoring position. Now, there are several ways that they can get this run across. And now the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. Struck out looking at his first at bat. Oh, Inside, just missed. Go ahead, run at second. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Hammered down the line. Put the extra bases. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He will score, and they take the lead. It's four to three, and he's got a double. Clutch hitting right there to give him the lead this late in the ball game. Here's the thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. And now it's Austin Hayes. The walk and a run scored his first time. Ball oh. one there. And downstairs. You know, these Orioles do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very oh, patient three. bats out of them. Pitch count is pretty high, and they've played with four runs already. So I think it's safe to say their game plan is working out pretty well right now. That one finds the zone. Three and one. So they forced the starter to put in a lot of work, and they've been able to get to him for some runs. And hopefully that bullpen phone is working today. Yeah, there's ball four. 
Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. Oh, the game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. And next for the Orioles, Jackson Holiday. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. That one fouled off. No outs, runners at first and second. to the play that's Ball outside right now. now two and two it's a good take and Hell another four. ball back to work three two now on the ground right side and it finds its way through for a hit fires it to the plate it's a <laughs> and he scores and they take a two-run lead. Well, that was one of those high-percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Just one of those seeing eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. So back to the top of the Orioles lineup, and the batter will be the shortstop, Gunnar Henderson. He's already homered in this game. That one finds the zone. Strike one. The right hater deals. All one. Breaking ball inside. And it's two and one. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. And the righty deals. On the ground, left side, six, four, three, and they turn the double play. Well, that's what you're for. If you're out there on the mound, first and second, nobody out. Somehow get a ground ball. They got it right there. Nice double play by the infield. Now the batter down, Adley Rutschman. Nice ball for a strike. One, one. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another runner in scoring position the rest of this ballgame. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. We played four. It's the Orioles five and the Twins three. Now, and on the mound, the closer, Craig Kimbrell. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. The pitch. Lined, and that's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Byron Buxton, the next twin up to hit. He's 0 for 1. Ah. Right through there for a strike. Oh. Next pitch is downstairs. With the tying run at the plate, and we're at the top of the fifth. Oh. 
And a count one and two. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. Tying run at the plate. And That's another over. ball. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Two two. Double play ball to second. Throws to Henderson. Out. They get the double oh, play. And just run out to go now. Mm -hmm. Very fast developing play right there. No margin for error. Nice double play on a fast runner up the line. So it's their last chance in this one. And now the shortstop, Kyle Farmer. There's a strike, 95 of that one. Oh, one's Two outs. Just Whoa, off the outside out. edge, and it's one and one. Oh, can't get out of the way of the fastball, and that's going to sting. That's one of those lookout pitches. As soon as it leaves the pitcher's hand, you start bracing for impact, knowing that it's going to be hard to get out of the way of that. <laughs> Willie Castro stands in now and watches strike one. Farmer leads off first with two down to the inning. And that'll do it. Irvin with his first major league win. Yeah, nicely done. I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case as he should. A start he won't ever forget. A 5-3 final score in this one as the Orioles win this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long. Seven hits, no errors. They left four runners on base. For the Twins, three runs on seven hits, no errors. They left five runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and seven minutes.